Welcome to the Checkpoint Certified Security Administrator course. So in this particular module, we are going to take a look at the network topology. So if you check, we have our Checkpoint Security Management Server, which is 192.168.15.3. And then we have the gateways. Now this is our HQ LAN. So this is the head office. This is the internet, the wide area network. And then this is the remote network. Okay, so we want to configure internet access. We want to ensure that there is internet connectivity. So the very first thing that I would advise us to do if you're setting up your lab would be to configure your router. So we're going to log into this router, then we're going to ensure that all the IP addresses have been assigned. So let's do this. Okay, so we are logged into the router. The first thing that we'll do is to type our EN. Okay, then we'll type configure terminal. So we'll do interface G0 slash 0 to assign an IP address to that interface. So it's going to be 192.168.20.254.255.255.255.0. So this is how you assign IP addresses to an interface. Then you do no shutdown. So we'll go to interface G0 slash, interface G0 slash 1. Okay, so we want to configure this interface now. We've configured G0 slash 0. So we're going to be configuring G0 slash 1 now. So we'll type enter and then we'll type IP address 172.31.0.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
configure routing for, for the entire network. If you check, this router is connected to three subnets or to three networks. It's connected to the 192.168.20.0 subnet. It's connected to the 192.168.30.0 subnet. And it is also connected to the 172.31.0.0 subnet. So we're going to use router RIP. You can use any routing protocol of your choice. But for me, for this lab, I decided to make use of, of my router RIP. So we're going to type router RIP. We type version 2. Then we're going to specify the networks. Okay, so we have 192.168.20.0. We have 192, we have 192.168.30.0. And we also have 172.31.0.0. Okay, so having done this, we've configured our routing. Now, the very next thing that we're going to do will be to configure NAT, Network Address Translation, because we want all devices in the, in the uh, network to gain access to the internet. So we're going to come to so we'll come to the um, to the external interface interface g0 slash interface g0 slash two. We're going to say IP NAT outside. Okay, because this is the outside interface. Like this is the NAT the the external IP. So we're going to say IP NAT outside. Then for other interfaces, that is for this. Okay, so G0 slash 2 is for the outside. G0 slash 0 and G0 slash 1 are internal. So we're going to say interface G0 slash 0, IP NAT inside. Interface G0 slash 1, IP NAT inside as well. Um, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. So um, let's check. Let's try this again. No IP NAT outside. Okay, so then having done this, then we're going to type IP NAT inside. Okay, this is fine. So having done all this, then the very next next thing that we're going to do will be to type an access control rule or an access control entry for for NAT. So we're going to say IP NAT IP NAT inside source list one. Okay, so for our NAT, for the inside NAT, we want them to get their instructions from an access control list called list one. So we're going to type IP NAT inside source list one. Okay, for the interface, it's going to be interface G0 slash two, and then the type of NAT is NAT overload. Okay, so I've done this before. That is why it is telling us dynamic mapping in use cannot change. But if you run this command on your path, it is going to work. And then when you're done, you say IP, IP access list one, IP access list one permits any. I'm sorry, okay, let's check this. Oh, okay, so this should be access list. So let's use access list instead. Access list one permit any. Now, if you do this on your own end, it is going to work. Now, when you're done with everything, then you're going to save your configuration. So to save your config, it's possible to do copy from start. Okay, so it's either you use copy run start or you make use of W or you can use WR, okay, to save this. Now, having done this, we now have internet access across this um, the entire network. Okay, so you're going to come to your gateway. Now, on your gateways, your default gateway, okay, so this is your firewall. Now, the default gateway of this firewall 
is going to be 20.254. Ensure that your default gateway for the firewall is 20.254. So to verify this, we can come to, okay, so let's come to our server. Okay, so we'll come to this server, 15.4. Then we're going to log in. Okay, so we're going to log into the server, and after logging in, we're going to verify what our default gateway is. Okay, so we can come to okay, so let's go to the to the Gaia portal. Okay, so on this Gaia portal, we're going to try to log in. Okay, so having logged in, what we're going to do will be to come to IPv4 static route. So when we come to IPv4 static route, okay, let's click on IPv4 static route. Yeah, so on this, okay, so for IPv4 static route, we, um, okay, so let's expand this route. Uh, let's see. Okay, it seems I closed that. So HTTPS 192.168.15.1. Okay, so we're going to click on IP version 4 static route. Okay, firstly, let's click on this padlock sign to gain. Okay, let's override the lock. Then we'll come to IPv4 static route. And we'll then show that our default gateway is 20.254. If you have something else, you have to change it. Okay, so it's possible to edit this gateway to whatever you want it to be, but we need to just ensure that it is 20.254. So you can edit it, you click on OK, and then you click on Save. So when you're done with this, you can now check whether you have internet access. Okay, so let's log into the CLI. Okay, so let's try to ping the internet. As you can see, there is internet access. Okay, so from our computer as well, let's see whether we can access Google or Facebook or any of them. So let's see google.com. It seems we need to make it HTTPS. Okay, so we'll click on add, click on add. It's supposed to automatically redirect to HTTPS. Okay, this is beautiful. As you can see, there is internet access. Yeah, there's actually internet access. Okay, so we'll click on English. Okay, so there's internet access actually. Um, let's try Facebook. Um, let's see. Can we open Facebook.com just to confirm that there's actually internet access? Okay, so there's internet access actually. Okay, so what, another thing, you also need to come to all, so you come to all your firewalls and you do the same thing. Okay, so come to this firewall, set the default gateway, come to this one, set the default gateway, and also come to this one, and you also set the default gateway. For, so for this one, the default gateway is going to be 172.31.0.254. So with this, we've come to the end of this particular module. I'll meet you in the next one. Thank you.